good afternoon friends so now we have done the valley of flowers and hemkum side trek with uh, uh, mr steve and his family uh, he's originally from australia and uh, he has done this trek with himalayan stone so uh, mr steve please share your, your experience with us how was your trek and stay and everything uh, thank you we've been very well looked after and we've been taken to the playground of the gods here in the himalayas we can feel the spirituality the mysticism the energy and uh, it's been exciting every step of the way uh, sometimes those steps are very steep uh, but they are worth everything when you experience the diversity of flowers and nature you experience the, the, the history uh, and you get to really breathe the beautiful air of the himalayas uh, our guide uh, and tour company have been wonderful and we've been very well looked after and our food has been exquisite and uh, we're very thankful. And uh, Mrs. Brittle, uh, how was your experience and the kids as well? Uh, we had a very positive experience and um, and we're looking forward to doing more, more trekking in Northern India, I think. We've, we've got a taste for it now. Yeah? We've got a taste for it. It's so beautiful here and we've had a wonderful time and we've been extremely well looked after. Uh, thank you so much, ma'am, for giving this opportunity to Himal and Snowrunner. We were pleased to, you know, serve you in the Himalayas and I invite you for more treks in the future. Thank you so much. Thank you. So, good afternoon, friends. So, we are coming back from the riverbed of the Valley of Flowers National Park. We have Mr. Steve from uh, Canberra, Australia. He, he came here for the very first time uh, to the Himalayas with his uh, family, with his three kids. So, Mr. Steve, can you please share your experience? Uh, how was your trek to the Valley of Flash National Park? This is the most amazing place you can come to anywhere in the world that, that I can think of. You will see such massive diversity of flowers. You see melting glaciers. You see waterfalls that are breathtaking. It feels like you're in a Lord of the Rings movie set uh, you can hear the mountains breathing and it is glorious uh, it's worth every step of the climb up uh, and if you have a very good guide like i have here in siraj he makes it fun the whole way you also learn a lot you learn a lot about history about nature and yourself this is a glorious adventure and uh, when we talk about your accommodation in Himalayan abode and Camp Valley of Flowers, how was the overall experience? Uh, it was beyond my expectation. We were in a lovely tent, very comfortable bedding. Uh, the food has been exquisite and we've been very well looked after. All of our uh, needs and desires have been catered for. And uh, it's uh, very restful. You sleep listening to the waterfalls of the mountains. Thank you so much for sharing your experience, sir. I'll, I hope you'll do a lot of Himalayan tricks in India in future. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Valley of Flowers National Park is an Indian national park which was established in 1982. It is located in Chamoli in the state of Uttarakhand and is known for its meadows of endemic alpine flowers and the variety of flora. This richly diverse area is also home to rare and endangered animals including the Asiatic black bear, snow leopard, musk deer, brown bear, red fox and blue sheep. Birds found in the park include Himalayan monal, pheasant and other high altitude birds. At 3,352 meters to 3,658 meters above sea level, the gentle landscape of the Valley of Flowers National Park complements the rugged mountain wilderness of Nanda Devi National Park to the east. Together, they encompass a unique transition zone between the mountain ranges of the Zanskar and Great Himalayas. The park stretches over 87.50 km square and is about 8 km long and 2 km wide. It lies completely in the temperate alpine zone. Both parks are encompassed in the Nanda Devi Biosphere Reserve, 
which is further surrounded by a buffer zone. Nanda Devi National Park Reserve is in the UNESCO World Network of Biosphere Reserves. The park is open only during the summer from June to October and is covered by heavy snow for the rest of the year. This place was little known to the outside world due to its inaccessibility. In 1931, Frank Smythe, Eric Shifton and R.L. Holdsworth, all British mountaineers, lost their way while returning from a successful expedition to Mount Gamet and happened upon the valley which was full of flowers. They were attracted to the beauty of the area and named it the Valley of Flowers. Smythe later authored a book of the same name. In 1939, John, Lady John Margaret Leggy, a botanist deputed by the Royal Botanical Gardens, Kew, arrived at the valley to study flowers and while traversing some rocky slopes to collect flower, she slipped and died. Her sister later visited the valley and erected a memorial near the spot. Professor Chandra Prakash Kala, a botanist deputed by the Wildlife Institute of India, carried out a research study on the floristics and conservation of the valley for a decade. Beginning in 1993, he made an inventory of 520 alpine plants exclusively growing in this national park and authored two books, The Valley of Flowers, Myth and Reality, and Ecology and Conservation of the Valley of Flowers National Park, Gadwal Himalaya. If we talk about the timeline of this valley, in 1862, the Pushpavati River Valley was discovered by Colonel Edmund Smythe. In 1931, the valley visited by the climber Frank Smythe, who wrote a book publicizing the Valley of Flowers. In 1934, the upper Nanda Devi sanctuary was reached and described by mountaineers Eric Shipton and Bill Tillman. In 1936, mountaineers Bill Tillman and Noel Odell climbed Nanda Devi. In 1939, the basin established as a Nanda Devi game sanctuary by government order. In 1962, border disputes closed the area to traffic, altering the local economy. In 1974-82, the sanctuary was open to mountaineering but the ensuing degradation led to its closure to all users. In 1980, the park was established as Sanjay Gandhi National Park by notification. Grazing and mountaineering stopped. In 1980, the Valley of Flowers was declared a national park by Indian government order under the provision of the Wildlife Protection Act of 1972 for the conservation of its flora. In 1982, the park was renamed the Nanda Devi National Park. In 1988, the Nanda Devi National Biosphere Reserve established with the national park as core zone and a buffer area surrounding both sides. Restrictions were imposed on the rights of nearby villages inscribed as UNESCO World Heritage Site. In 2000, the Biosphere Reserve extended by the government to Hak and the Valley of Flowers National Park was added as a second core zone. Getting to the Valley of Flowers requires a trek of about 17 kilometers. The nearest major town is Joshimat in Garhwal, which was convenient road connection from Haridwar and Dehradun, both about 272 south of Joshimat. From Delhi, one can take the train to Haridwar and then travel by bus to Govindghat by Rishikesh. Govind Ghat is approximately 24 kilometers before another important destination of Badrinath. It is also possible to drive from Delhi to Govind Ghat, a distance of about 500 kilometers. Govind Ghat is a small place close to Joshimat where the trek begins. 
from Gobind Ghat sheer taxis up to the 4 kilometers and then a trek of less than 11 kilometers brings Trekker to Hungaria, a small settlement located about 3 kilometers from the valley. One can also hire a porter, mule or helicopter to reach Hungaria. The trek from Gobind Ghat to Hungaria is common to the Gurudwara Shri Hemkun Sahib Sikh temple at Hemkun and a trekker is likely to find many Sikh pilgrims on the route. As one nears Ghangaria, one is greeted by the fields of perfumed wild flowers, wild rose bushes and wild strawberries by the sides of the path. Visitors to the Valley of Flowers need a get a permit from the Forest Department at Ghangaria. The permit is valid for three days. Only visiting and trekking are allowed during the daytime. Visitors are not allowed to stay inside the National Park and accommodation can be obtained at Ghangaria. The best time to visit in between July and early September. When the valley is full of flowers, just after the outbreak of monsoon. The valley of flowers is nestled in the Pushpavati River Valley, which is the upper expanse of Bhundar Ganga River near Joshi Matin Garhwal region. The lower reaches of the Bhundar Ganga near Govindghat are known as Bhundar Valley. It is one of the two hanging valleys lying close to at the head of Bhundar Valley, the other being the shorter Himkun Valley which runs parallel to Valley of Flowers some 10 km south. Valley of Flowers run east-west approximately 15 km in length with average width of 6 km. A small tributary of Pushpavati River originates from Tipra Glacier from Gori Parvat in the east and flows through the Valley of Flowers. The area lies on the Janskar range of the Himalayas with the highest point in the national park being Gori Parvat at 6719 meter above sea level. Being an inner Himalayan valley, the Nanda Devi Basin has a distinctive microclimate. Conditions are generally dry with lower annual precipitation but there is heavy monsoon rainfall from late june to early september prevailing mist and low cloud during the monsoon keeps the soil moist hence the vegetation is lusher than is usual in the drier himalayan valleys from mid april to june temperature are moderate to cool the valley of flas also has a microclimate so mr steve now you have done the Valley of Flowers trek, you have reached the Gangaria. How was your overall experience? It was a wonderful day. It was uh, very uh, tiring, but it was so worth every step, uh, every deep breath. Uh, you see so many things. You see waterfalls and you see a, a massive cliff tops and you see the greenest of green plants and pastures. And I will have memories that will last with me forever. Thank you very much. Same.